really? It just comes around so quickly. <laughs> it does, doesn't, doesn't it? it? Being gorgeous weather, but it's on the turn. It is on the turn, and by the weekend, we could potentially see a frost at wow. night time, yes. Claire Shefford <laughs> photographed footballers in the mist yesterday evening at Fording Bridge Recreation Ground. And Ian Hyden sent us this shot of the blue skies today in Wokingham in Berkshire. Today we did have some lingering low cloud and that will make a return overnight tonight with some mist and fog patches. Today we've seen some misty conditions this morning. This lovely picture of the sunrise was photographed in Bracknell Forest by one of our weather watchers. Now through the day tomorrow we will see some mist and fog start to form tonight. So that could be with us first thing tomorrow morning. In general there will be large areas of cloud, perhaps some sunny spells for the possibility of some patchy rain, particularly as we head towards the evening, more so for northern areas. So overnight tonight, clear sky skies can be expected at first. There is a southwesterly breeze and we'll see large areas of cloud develop with some mist and fog patches. It's going to be quite a warm and a mild night with temperatures dropping to around 12 to 15 Celsius. So tomorrow there will be large areas of cloud in general. Some sunny spells here and there, one or two showers which could be on the heavy side and some patchy rain arriving for northern parts as we head towards the afternoon and evening. Some sunny spells as I said and in the sunshine temperatures may be a degree lower than today up to around 20 to 21 Celsius, but we still have that brisk southwesterly wind during the course of the afternoon. So for the coastal forecast tomorrow, from Selseybill to Lyme Regis, the winds are southwest, four or five, becoming variable three or four later, and the sea state is slight or moderate, with the weather being rain at times. So the possibility of some rain, particularly tomorrow night, and that could be quite heavy during the early hours of Thursday morning, and we'll see some low cloud and mist and fog develop to start the day on Thursday. Temperatures tomorrow night may be just into single figures with a low of 9 to 10 Celsius. So Thursday itself, there will be a lot of dry weather, but there'll also be large areas of cloud during the course of the day. We'll see this weather front move its way southwards, producing the odd spot of light rain, but generally a lot of dry weather. But as I said, a lot of cloud for most places through Thursday daytime, limited brightness. Let's take a look at the outlook for the rest of the week. So Thursday will have a lot of cloud with maybe some patchy rain in places. Friday, some heavy and persistent rain will move through during parts of the day with strengthening southwesterly winds. But over the weekend, it turns cooler with a northerly breeze, but there will be some sunshine. It's getting a cold today. It certainly is, isn't it? Yes. Alexis, thank you for that. Um, just a reminder that uh, we want to let you know what's happening for children in need this year. It's spectacular, as we said. You can get plenty of ideas about how to raise money and great ideas about how to dress up as well, yeah, actually. Absolutely. It's all on that website, bbcchildreninneed.co.uk. And we look forward to seeing all of your pictures and videos on the Appeal Day, which, of course, is the 17th of November. It's exciting. On tomorrow night's programme, we'll be chatting to the runner from Oxfordshire who came last at the London Marathon, but is now leading a campaign to encourage all of us to lead healthier lives. Make sure you join us for that. David Allard is here with the late news tonight at 10. 10.30 after the national news here on BBC One. Join David for that. We'll be here again tomorrow, we will. won't we? Yes. Thanks for your company this evening. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday night. Bye for now. Good night.